this is my uh, first kind of production, I guess. Uh, really, but Alex is the real producer. But uh, very excited. We're gonna get started now. Red Shooting Gallery Asia, super appreciative um, for a personal project. Oh, we're gonna have um, Angelina over there. She's um, a rhythmic gymnast, former South Korean national gymnast. Um, she's gonna do some gymnastics, I guess, for us. Uh, but it'll be fun. It's gonna be nice. We got a whole bunch of Titan tubes. Uh, and then we have bachata dancers after this, and after that a pole dancer, so, you know, super stoked, doing this all for fun. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the field, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, Johan, what's the situation right now? Uh, I'm debating whether to keep using the Ronin or not. <laughs> I hate my life already, and it's, we've only done one out of three shoots. But yeah, that's where I am. This guy, this man is doing the magic. Uh, He's shy, he doesn't want to be on the camera. <laughs> He's doing an awesome job. This is Nikki. A few words for the camera, Nikki. Uh, hello, good night. We're going to the next shoot for Bachata Dancers. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a story to this, so it's going to be good fun. I think Johan has something. Fun plan for us, right? Huh? He's so weird. So we're moving on to the second shoot. We're gonna shoot these with the Ultranons. These are really cool lenses uh, because they're, well first is BNCR mount, which is not very common. This was before PL mount was invented. The Leonetti's rehouse these, they made I think 15 sets back in like the end of 1970s and there were a lot of feature films shot on them, made for the Ultracam. These are all rehouse Contax Zeiss, uh, Canon FD and a Cook Pancro. Um, and then they kind of retuned it and put new irises in it, so it's, uh, it's gonna look awesome. Love the vintage look. This is a personal project, but it was supposed to be me and two buddies, and we're gonna go out and shoot a talent outside uh, with like, you know, the $300 budget. <laughs> it turned into this massive thing. That's Alex over there. I was supposed to shoot this with him. Say hello. Hello, how's it going? This is Alex. It's very minimal setup. I was gonna be like, uh, what was I gonna be? Uh, I was gonna be holding the, like, the diffusion or like, uh, anything like reflector, that's what it's called. And now we're here in uh, Shooting Gallery Asia in the biggest studio with a huge rack and 36 Asteras. 32? 32, 32 yeah, Asteras, yeah. So quite a bit of a change. 19 people involved in this test for Ultranons, PNS and Cooks. Cooks, yeah. There you go. Oh, the CAs are now rigging up the V-Raptor. Uh, that's our A cam and B cam. Uh, we have two of them right there and then the, uh, oh yeah, this, I almost forgot about this. Look at this monitor, thank you Porky's for making this, this is awesome. It took a bit of work to try to get it to match, and, but they made it happen somehow. I love this kind of stuff, I'm such a sucker for it. Match the yellow really, really like 99% down and great. All, all we need now is a GDU yellow. Yeah, all I need is a GDU, maybe bright tangerine can <laughs> make me a yellow base plate. Oh my god, that'd be so, rid so ridiculous. <laughs> Last one, this is gonna be, uh, we're giving Nikki a free reign. He's the director of this, uh, the gaffer. And uh, we're gonna go crazy, I think. I can't wait to see this. I don't, even, I don't even know what's planned. It's gonna be a pole dancer though. into the suit. Oh, this is tight. Bro, Can I just go it. handheld? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you want to do the road and buy it? All right. All right, strong boy. So uh, I've been shooting with the X-T5, just testing it out, using the Lomo Super Speeds. Um, testing mostly the video, but super happy that the screen is back. You know, this isn't really a review, but you know, hands-on, it's uh, 
I used to own an XT1, an XT2, and an XT3, so it feels uh, right at home, like I, I really missed it. It's so easy to use because the dials are so like, you know, anyone can pick it up and just use it right away. I'm very impressed with the, the video capabilities. Um, I wasn't really expecting 10-bit 422. I thought maybe it'd be like 420. Um, you still go up to, you know, 60 frames per second. I think the photo quality is gonna be uh, awesome. Like, I tried the X-H2 the other day and it was special machines and I love the Fuji colors. I love the film simulations. But yeah, I definitely recommend it. Anyone who is a hybrid shooter, it's so nice. Like, I truly really want to take it home and never give it back. <laughs> oh, and thank you Fujifilm. <laughs>